Any new technology, I don't care what it is, and I've been involved with a lot of new technologies, disruptive technologies. Um, I could take you back to the early days of streaming when we were the very first commercial streaming company, and right off the bat, it was hard to use. You know, if you think back to 1995 and you wanted to stream just audio, you had to have a subscription with an internet service provider. Then to make that work, you had to download a client which had a TCP IP client. Then you had to download a streaming audio client, you know, and you had to have a, the right kind of modem. There were all these pieces that had to fit together. It was complicated. Hello and welcome to Crypto IQ. In today's video, entrepreneur and Shark Tank investor Mark Cuban discusses the progress of technology in the crypto space and why he remains bullish even in a bear market. And so the uptake was big for sports fans and you know big news junkies and everybody else were like, dude, you're an idiot. I'll just turn on my TV. You know, I'll just turn on the radio. What the hell do I have to go through all that hassle? To, to just listen to um, a sporting event. And we reached that initial stage and then all of a sudden it got a little bit boring, right? Because you had to wait for the, the new applications to come along. You know, we had to wait for live to come along. We had to wait for video to come along. We started, you know, streaming audio in 1995. When we did video, it was 1998, you know, and even then it was only postage stamp size. And it was only, you know, in 2012, let's say 2013, 14, 20, almost 20 years later where people looked at streaming like, okay, it's normal, right? You just click on Netflix and it just streams um, and you don't have to do anything else. Well, with crypto, it's very analogous to that. We're in the early hassle phases. Now, the very earliest of crypto, you know, however you want to decide the beginning with Bitcoin or whatever, has been around 12 years. But in terms of applications with smart contracts, that's only 2017 for the most part. And so we're really only five years in. So I'm still really bullish on crypto. We had some early wins, just like you know, streaming audio with sports and news. Um, now you know, with, with crypto, you have DeFi and you have you know, money transfer and some other applications but you haven't had any mainstream applications where your mom says, okay, we've got to get a wallet because I have to do A, B, or C, right? It's been DeFi, NFTs, and money transfer. And so it's kind of boring right now. We're waiting for that next round of applications, and there's a lot of people working on them. You know, NFTs for the, the resale um, of books. So we take NFTs past the collectible markets to the utility markets. NFTs for refi, which is for, um, Carbon, carbon offsets, buying and selling and, and trading carbon offsets, and even burning them so that they're not resold all the time, but they have a direct impact on, on, um, on the environment. And there'll be more and more and more of those applications that bring in, that are more mainstream, but they're not all the way here. They're not truly mainstream yet, and so we're going through that lull. And you saw the same thing with the internet too, right? Until mobile phones came along, from 1995 to 2007 with the iPhone, meh. Right? I mean, you had Amazon, you had, you know, you could go shopping and you could stream, but it wasn't like it was just earth shattering. But once we got on a mobile, then we got the App Store in what, 2009? And then even remember there, the first apps on the App Store were like, here, look, let me hold my phone like this and it looks like <laughs> I'm drinking a beer. Game. Right? Yeah, it looks like I'm drinking a beer. Yeah. Just dumb shit. There's no reason why crypto is going to be any different. But the good news is, you know, the investments I'm looking to make are geared towards applications that'll be mainstream and not about, okay, let's create an Instagram for crypto. Let's create a Twitter, not me too type applications. More like, okay, things that take advantage of smart contracts and distributed environments. Show I put any thought into, which is the way I, I want to do it. Cause this is not, That's cause right. again, I wanted to do something that was exactly like my life. Who puts thought into like, oh good, I'm gonna meet yeah, Mark every... Cuban for dinner. What I'm gonna take notes. But there is one thing, but I might say to myself, there's one thing I really want to ask him about, okay. which is Bitcoin. Because okay. I've been very anti-Bitcoin, okay. and I don't think you are. No. And then recently there was a big Bitcoin getting dive, up, right? and I must tell you, I'm rooting against Bitcoin, and never that's okay. against you. No, that's I love okay. you even more now no, that's that okay, I got to right? know you. I'm, I root, I'm rooting against, but, I want Bitcoin to go down a lot further so I can buy some more, right? Wow. Because have you ever bought gold? What do you think about gold? 
<laughs> what do you think about gold? I think, it's good. I think it's good when you're trying to get laid. <laughs> right? But no, not when you're I mean, wearing gold. Yeah, come on, baby. No. Um, like, would you buy gold as an investment? I, I have gold. Okay. Everybody likes to You know have... what? If you have gold, you're dumb as Well, I mean, it never... It's a, it's, a, it's a small part. It's like a hedge against everything else. It's a hedgement there. against everything, but... Yes, it is. It's no, a, and, would I be but it's all not in gold? Hedge, no. No, but it's not a hedge against anything, right? What it is well, is a, a store value, and you don't yeah. own the physical gold, do you? No, no, of course... Well, I don't... Who the knows? It, what, it, what I know is that it never goes away. It's always worth something. You can always sell it. Just like and, Bitcoin. Bitcoin, gold is a store of value, and so it's, is Bitcoin. That, that's not, that's a, that is an apt analogy. Because you don't hold the gold? But gold, but the world is not run by gold. No, it's not, and it's not run by Bitcoin either. It's well, a, it's, it, but it's, yeah, you're, I mean, I can't deny that. It's, it, although it is based on actually mining something, which is crazily, that's why we got off the gold standard, because it's crazy to hook a, car- a currency to what you can find in the ground. But but you and your ownership, you don't own the gold bar. And if everything went to hell, hell in a handbasket and you had a gold bar, you know what would happen? Someone would beat the f*** out of you or kill you and take your gold bar. <laughs> they, and then, then they could use the bar to hit, hit somebody and that's it. You're not gonna, what are you going to shave a little piece of gold so someone waves, waves no, it? I mean, look, it's, it's I mean, useless. If you, the, the idea that currency is a, is a state of mind, this is in, by the way, Yuval Harari's great book, Sapiens, about... Humans are different than apes because humans can organize in great numbers just about an idea. Mm-hmm. Now, the idea could be we got to go kill everybody who isn't a Christian <laughs> or we got to go kill everybody who isn't a Muslim. Those ideas, bad ideas. But, like, the idea that money is an idea is not wrong. No, it's right. But we tie our money to, I mean, Apple makes something. A phone is something real that you, you drop really in the toilet. You really need gold jewelry. If the world, no, but if you're gold obsessed jewelry with gold. Most of the economy is not gold. No, but the point Most I Most of the economy is iPhones, which is a about real Bitcoin. thing with real value, right, but we're talking about, and it's been valued at $1,000. So talking about it's pegged to something. We're talking about Bitcoin. And Bitcoin which is pegged to nothing. Which is, neither is gold, really. Right? Again, gold. If you gold was own- if gold was controlling our economy right now, I would say you have a good argument. Gold is not. We got off gold in the thirties. No, that's, that's, you're making my point, though, Bill. You're making my point. When you own gold, all you own is a digital transaction. When you which own is bit- why we're not mostly in gold. And, and that's fine, right? <laughs> I'm not mostly in Bitcoin, right? It's just something I own. Okay, but it's just. It's, it's this digital transaction, and it, it's a store of value. That's the term for it, a store of value. So people perceive that there's value associated with gold, well, I mean, and there's I, value associated with Bitcoin. That's as it. Warren Buffett said, um, it's just really about having something that you can sell to somebody else that has absolutely no value, and then it's their problem. So it is... But that's a share of stock in like 90% of the companies out there, right? <laughs> you think that? Yes, yes. <laughs> You know, I can go on for days about this shit, but look, when it comes down you to crypto... You think most companies are shit. It's not that... The price of a share of stock that doesn't pay a dividend is worth what somebody will pay. for. So do you agree with Mark's comparisons of crypto with other technologies of the past? Let us know in the comments. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.